Hey folks, it's Antar, and to start off the week, I've got a battle against a guy who I doubt any of you have ever heard of, but he's a really, really good battler, and he does excellent narrations, and he is way under sub, so I really urge you all to go check out his channel. There's a link to it in the description, and his name's Wild Chase. Yeah, so please go check out his channel, and please subscribe to him. I want him to be the first YouTuber to break a million subs. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Wild Chase... Holy crap, um, he saw my post on Smog and that I had the new tears, and he challenged me to a battle, and, um, I was like, of course I'm gonna battle Wild Chase, are you crazy? Anyway, he leads off with his, uh, Politoed, it's a rain team, which is a little bit lame, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, sets up his rain, then switches out into his Ferrothorn, and I, he takes the paralysis, I'm like, that's just great, that's just awesome, that... That sucks. Um, so I go ahead and taunt his Ferrothorn to prevent it from setting up entry hazards because my team hates entry hazards with a fiery passion. He's going to go ahead and gyroball me, predicting the obvious taunt. It gets a crit, but that didn't matter, I guarantee it. Uh, and now I do something kind of stupid. I go for the Endeavor. Be um, you know, it's nice to be able to take out a Ferrothorn. Ferrothorns are kind of hard to kill, but I didn't realize that I got Iron, Iron Barb's recoil from that. and. It was a really stupid, stupid, stupid move to sacrifice what my limbs had caught that early. I make two really big mistakes in this battle, and that is one of them. Okay, so now uh, my opponent's going to go ahead and... Um, no, I guess I go ahead and pursue his Ferrothorn, take it out uh, with my Cosmic Eth, and so that's nice. I don't actually... I wasn't actually paying attention. Did he try to recall? Uh, whatever. So Cosmic Eth takes him out. Yes, that's a future Elmo reference. And anyway, out comes his Dragonite. I'm like thinking, I can take anything from a Dragonite. Uh, so I go ahead and um, break his multi-scale. As he goes for the Hurricane, I'm like, oh, oh, that was stupid. So yeah, my second big mistake of the match, and really Cosmic F should not be left in for Death Fodder. Uh, yeah, so basically it was partially leaving him in for Death Fodder because uh, I wanted to break that multi-scale, didn't want him to set up a Dragon Dance or whatnot. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Dragon Claw here with my Dragonite. Oh yeah, so, but I didn't need a spinner anymore because Ferrothorn was down, which is great. So anyway, I go for the Dragon Claw here against this Politoed. And it does a whole lot of damage, does not KO, it is due to a crit though. I completely didn't see those leftovers. I feel, this is, okay, the third mistake I make in the battle. So I went for the extreme speed because I didn't see the leftovers. I thought it was uh, scarfed and so therefore it would have outsped me. But, oh, oh my god! So yeah, Ice Beam is going to do a decent amount of damage um, and it's going to break my multi-scale. I'm going to go ahead and go for the second extreme speed here because, again, I just didn't see those stupid leftovers or I didn't process them or something. Now here comes the bane of my existence, freaking Quagsire. Uh, I almost guarantee that it's an unaware Quag Quagsire, because I'm, so I'm not going to try setting up. I see that Dragon Claw is doing nothing, so I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I can use to take this guy out. So yeah, I've got the Lumberry, you waste a turn with trying to Toxic me, and I'm just going to keep on going for the Dragon Claw, hoping for a crit, because that's the only way that I can see of taking this guy out now that Whimsicott is dead. It, just, it was so stupid of me to sacrifice Whimsicott so early, because it's the only thing that can really take on this Quagsire on my team. So yeah, he's going to go ahead and... Re now that I see that he's running to recover, I'm like, well, crap, there's nothing I can do to him at all. But I'm staying in, uh, basically to hopefully get a free switch into someone else, and to scout him out, whatnot. Uh, so now I get toxic. It's lame. Uh, nothing I can do, and so he's going to be able to toxic stall me out. So I figure at this point, I think at this point I, I recall, because um, I just, yeah. I go ahead and send out my Tachikomo, just hoping that this guy's actually not running any attacking moves. And if he doesn't run any attacking moves, then that's great. So anyway, he goes for the recovery, and I'm like, okay, excellent. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I trick him my choice specs? Because then he'll be crippled, he can't recover, and I maybe will be able to take him out. He predicts that. Unfortunately, he thought I was uh, choice scarfed. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the trick, and so I'm going to get his choice scarf as he gets my choice specs. And he says, as he says in his uh, narration, uh, choice specs lander is just what he always wanted. So now I go for the Dark Pulse, it gets a crit, and I was really actually hoping that it would do more damage than that, but it doesn't, so, eh. Oh well. Anyway, he's gonna go ahead and U-turn out. Uh, I'm locked into Dark Pulse at this point, and he's gonna go ahead and send out Dragonite. So, I see that Dragonite is, oh, well, now Dragonite is at full health, so my goal here is really to break multi-scale and then switch into something that can actually take him out, like Caracosta would be able to do amazing, amazing things to this guy. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Thunder. Uh, and that's not going to do anything to me, but it is going to get the Parahats, which is annoying. 
Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap out here. Um, no, he goes ahead and goes with a roost. I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, I just was trying to rack up more damage. And so with that roost, this guy, this Dragonite is going to be super duper annoying because it's going to get its multi-scale back and I'm just not going to be able to do any damage to this guy. And so yeah, he's probably going to roost stall me here waiting for the Parahax. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I don't know why I'm staying in. Uh, I, I, at this point, I really knew that the battle was lost because I just had nothing to take out that Quagsire. Anyway, he gets the Confusion Hacks on me. Uh, do I hit myself with the confusion? Yes, I do. Wow. But, you know, not that it mattered. And as you can see, it really didn't do much to me because, thankfully, Rotom does not have any attack to speak of. Anyway, Hurricane, again, is going to hit and takes me out. I think I just wanted the free switch into someone else, but, you know, he's got his multi-scale intact. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead and send out Jirachi, which I'm pretty sure, once I get our calm mind up, we'll be able to take those thunders with ease. Now, the Parahax will be unfortunate if I ever get it, but still, I think I can probably do a decent amount of uh, about this Dragonite. So yeah, anyway, Thunder doesn't do very much. I'm at plus one, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psy Shock here to break his, uh, his um, multi-scale. Plus, I think it does more damage than... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, Flash Can, which is my other attacking move on this set. He's gonna go ahead and roost back up, so this is pointless. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the um, Flash Cannon here, basically hoping to get the special defense drops, because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to take this guy out. Instead, he switches into his Quagsire, so now my plus one uh, special attack and special defense are negated by unaware. That, that attack's gonna do nothing. Now, he does get the special defense lowering, but I don't think that... I, I think, actually, that Unaware does not take... still does take that into account. I have to look that up. But there's just really nothing I can do. So I'm going to try and stall this guy out. I see that his Quagsire runs Earthquake. So I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. I can still take that fairly well, because this is a bold max HP, max defense Jirachi. I love this Jirachi set. It's really amazing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and call back Jirachi at this point. I'm going to go ahead and send out Puff because I, um, you know, I'm predicting the Earthquake, and I, instead he goes for the Scald, uh, which is a better move, especially boosted by the range. It's not very effective. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back almost all of my HP thanks to Wish. Unfortunately, it's not quite back up to full HP, but it doesn't matter because I'm poisoned anyway, so that would have broken my multi-scale. Oh well, so Dragon Claws for the crit. That's what I'm hoping for. That's the my really only chance in this battle that I get an awesome crit with Dragon Claw. But you know, he's gonna keep recovering and just you know, it's gonna take a lot more than just one crit actually to take him out. So he's gonna go ahead and withdraw Quagsire, really not wanting to just stall me out, and he goes ahead and sends out his Terrakion. And so Dragon Claw is going to be resisted. I do not carry Earthquake on the set, I carry Fire Punch. Uh, I get a crit. No, that wasn't a crit. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, Dragonite is kind of amazing. I go ahead and call back here, knowing that he's faster, predicting the Stone Edge. Go ahead and send out my Jirachi. Both of my attacks are going to be super effective. Yeah, his Stone Edge misses, but it wouldn't have done anything to my Jirachi anyway. So, yeah, it was hacks. It wasn't that bad, though. He's going to go ahead and close combat me. I'm thinking, I can take that. I can take that uh, all day. And indeed, I survived with 99 HP, so that's pretty darn awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not going to... One idea with this set would be to convert to full-on Wish Protect, uh, and that would be hella annoying, but I really don't want to do that. I like uh, Calm Mind, Wish, and two attacks, personally. Anyway, yeah, so I'm back up to 124 HP after that Flash Cannon. He's going to go ahead and send out his Quagsire. I'm actually not sure why he foddered his Teraki on there. He really could have sent out Quagsire and just you know, completely devastated me. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. That is going to take out my Jirachi at that range of HP. So, now this battle's basically over. I'm going to go ahead and send out Hoover, which is my Caracosta, and at first I go for the Earthquake thinking, okay, well, it's going to, it has more base power after, um, you know, than my Aqua Jet, which is, uh, my stab move on this guy. Uh, and I get my, I luckily get back up to 289 HP thanks to that wish, so that's excellent. Then I realize that with the rain, Aqua Jet is going to be a better move after all, even though I don't need the additional speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Aqua Jet, I'm like, okay, that still doesn't do anything. And now he's gonna go for the Scald, and he's gonna get the burn, sorry, getting a little bit ahead of the battle here. Yeah, so he gets, I get burned, I'm screwed, I don't have a Cleric on this team, maybe I should pack a Cleric on this team. We should probably do some sort of modifications at least. 
Anyway, yeah, I'm going to be taking damage from that burn, and my attacks aren't going to be doing, any, doing anything. I'm leaving in my Karakasta to die, because it's completely useless at this point. A burned Karakasta, not carrying any special moves. Although I'm actually considering uh, converting this to a special set, because uh, Shell Smash is such an amazing move. It boosts both attack uh, and special attack, not to mention speed. Anyway, he's down to a low enough HP that I'm really hoping that I can finally get a crit with Dragon Claw and take him out. Not holding out too much hope, but... Okay, so he survives the hit. He's gonna go ahead and scald me. It doesn't matter. Uh, and yeah, I'm actually, that's actually really interesting that he scalded me instead of going for the recover. I think he'd realize that this game, that the battle was over. There was no point in recover stalling me. I am toxic after all. And so I'm just hoping that now this Dragon Claw is gonna be able to take him out. Uh, I believe that Puff is my last Pokemon at this point. His skull is going to do a bit more damage. Uh, I've survived with 86 HP, but the poison is just going to kill me this turn or next turn. Uh, yeah, so I'm now down to 46 HP. One more round of poison is going to kill me, but he does let me kill his Quagsire. So that was very nice of you, Wild Chase. It was an excellent battle. I gotta say, I was nervous in it, so that's why I played a little poorly. If you ever want to battle me again, I would love to battle you, especially in probably like you, you, where I'm a little bit better or with my new OU team when I roll that out in a few months. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge folks, and please check out Wild Chase's channel. He needs more subs. Yeah. <laughs>